Hey guys, Fox here. I just wanted to uh, do another episode here, and for episode three, I think I'm going to do a little compilation of some of my favorite RPGs. I think I'm going to only do about one RPG per system, as I have quite a few systems that I want to cover, uh, but don't slam me too hard. I'm trying to make this as short as possible, so I'm going to only do a little brief explanation on each title that I put in this. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And first off, we're going to start with Dragon Warrior for the NES. This wasn't my first RPG, but it was my second. My first RPG was actually the first Final Fantasy, but to be quite honest, I really didn't enjoy it a whole lot. But uh, Dragon Warrior, I really liked. It was very basic, and ah, there's not a whole lot to say about it, other than that it was basic. Uh, but it, you know, it had more character to it than Final Fantasy did. Um, but to be quite honest, when it comes to starting with RPGs, I really wouldn't start with the NES. But uh, if you do want to play one for the NES, give Dragon Warrior a try. For the Super Nintendo, Breath of Fire 2. Um, there's a lot of great RPGs on the Super Nintendo, especially games like Earthbound or uh, uh, Super Mario RPG. Uh, but to be quite honest, I don't own either of those. I've played and beaten both of them, but I don't currently own them, so I really wish I did, but those usually fetch a hefty price. But Breath of Fire 2 is a fantastic turn-based RPG. Pro probably my favorite out of the entire Breath of Fire series, too. Um, it wouldn't hurt to start with the first one, but uh, if you can get your hands on an RPG for the Super Nintendo, uh, that's not too much money, I would go ahead and try to pick up Breath of Fire 2. Next for the Sega Genesis, Fantasy Star 2. My copy is quite beat up, so... I really need to pick up another one, but it works just fine. Uh, what can I say about the Fantasy Star series? Fantastic. I loved the way the uh, combat was. You know, you were kind of in a third-person view to, you know, to fight the monsters. Um, not, I just loved this game. Great story too. I mean. Fantasy Star 3 wasn't wasn't my favorite of the games, that's for sure. Fantasy Star 4 was pretty good too, but my absolute favorite was Fantasy Star 2. Next up we'll jump to looks like the GameCube. Now there are of course plenty of Zelda titles on that system that are fantastic, but uh and since I don't have this game on the Dreamcast, even though that's the one I beat it on, can't hurt here, is Skies of Arcadia Legends. This is actually a superior version to the one on the Dreamcast, but a lot of people still prefer the Dreamcast version because of, you know, that's where it started on. This one has some added features to it that the Dreamcast version didn't. I think there are some extra islands and more ship battles and other things you can get for your personal island. This game was just great. It was very bright, very colorful. Um, there are tons of battles though. That's one thing. If you don't like t a lot of random battles, this might not be the title for you. But uh, as of the GameCube goes, this is a good game to pick up. It's not very expensive, unlike its Dreamcast counterpart, Skies of Arcadia Legends. Next up we'll hit PlayStation 2. Now, there are a ton of RPGs for the PlayStation 2. Uh, and it took me a while just to pick one that I think is just fantastic all around and that damn near almost everybody will enjoy. And that's of course from Atlas, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. The character development in this game is some of the best I have 
ever had. And, the, you know, it's just like Persona 3 as far as the battle system goes, except it took away a lot of the things that people didn't like. For example, when your characters would get tired in dungeons, you couldn't control your other characters except for the main character. In this one, you could control every single character, or you could let the AI take care of the other characters besides the main. It is a quite a long RPG at that too. I think when I finished it, I was roughly around 90 to 100 hours. Uh, but it's such a great game. I highly suggest any of the Persona games, especially this one and Persona 3. Next up, we'll go with the original PlayStation. This is probably my all-time favorite RPG. Um, I remember when I first picked it up, it was, I was just sitting at Best Buy and I was like, I need a game to play. And for some reason, this game caught my eye and I'm glad it did. And that's Grandia. Grandia just has such an overall fantastic story. The battle engine is really easy to use and fun to fun to play. Um, the magic system was very easy. It had a level up system where you level up your different um, magic ele elements through for different characters. You'll fall in love with damn near all of the characters in this game. Of course, Justin. I love this game all around. I must have beaten it maybe four or five times. I constantly go back to it. I highly suggest anybody with a PlayStation pick up Grandia. One of the best titles on the system. I know some people will be like, why not Final Fantasy VII? Or Legend of Dragoon. There's tons of fantastic RPGs on the PlayStation. I just highly suggest Grandia as it's my favorite. And don't get me wrong, Final Fantasy VII and Legend of Dragoon are fantastic RPGs. Next we'll go with the Nintendo DS. And this is a later release in the DS's lifespan, but it turned out to be my absolute favorite. And that's Radiant Historia. Such a great game. I mean, it uses the time travel uh, gimmicks, I guess you can call it, but it uses it extremely well. I mean, the whole basis of the story is you'll find certain bad things will happen during the game, like somebody dies, and you'll find out that you need to go back in time to a certain event, make a slight change so you can save that person, or change the course of history in a certain time. I mean, it seems complicated, but it's not that bad. The story is great. You love the characters, and it's probably one of the best-looking games on the DS, too. I highly suggest Radiant Historia. The artwork is just gorgeous. And of course, it's from your favorite Atlas. Everybody loves Atlas when it comes to RPGs. Radiant Historia.